Good morning. Over the years we've seen famous celebrities, particularly in sports, go through that, go through that, well, have their moments of success and prosperous in their field, whatever sport it is, whatever craft that they have. But too much we've seen a down spiral of them, which ultimately lead to their demise in terms of health, even death, or just in terms of relevancy within that field. And as a result, their legacy is tainted permanently. You don't remember the good things that they did that they did when they were playing, when they were successful and popular. And in this case, that applies to a former football legend, Paul Gascoigne. Right now, he's he was born in he's I believe he's 50, 52 as of, as of right now, fifty two. But man, I mean, he's just. Uh, Okay, the point is, Paul Gascoigne was, at the time, he was seen as the biggest talent that England has ever ever produced in football, or in football. He was a great talent, midfielder, started his playing career in 1985 and retired in 2004. He started his playing career with Newcastle United. As he, you know, that's where he spent his his um, youth career in football there at, at Newcastle. He then went, he then played for Tottenham Hotspur, which is when he started to rise in prominence, play for the English, English World Cup teams so on and so forth he then went to Lazio in Italy played in three years then to Scotland the Rangers then to Middlesbrough then to Everton then Burnley then a team in Asia then Boston United which is in Lincolnshire then he, then he retired but honestly you know as I just said before he was a part. He was a part of um, England, England's most successful teams that reached semi semi-finals of the World Cup in 1990 and the semi-finals of the Euro '96, which took place in England. And he had one of the, one of the most. Um, One of the most um, monumental celebrations, which is still um, remembered to this day, and has been, you know, um, sketched, painted as an iconic moment in um, the history of the game in England, and that was his goal against Scotland in the, Euro- in, in the Euros of '96. Now he was. He's certainly a legend. However, his legacy has been tainted by personal issues off the court, off the, off the pitch. I mean, off the um, f- football field, and that has mainly that's just mainly his um, issues with alcohol. With um, alcohol, his alcohol, his alcoholism has really aged, made him age badly, terrible. I mean, the guy's 52 years old, so as of today, but he looks, he looks 80. That's just how terrible he looks. It's just such a shame. Terrible. Oh, honestly. Where do we begin?
he's had issues with um, alcohol, you know, abuse. In 1988, he was, when he was first um, put in therapy, as he, it was confirmed that he had drank 32 shots of whiskey. In 1988, this was. And um, this is when he starts to become an issue for managers. His manager at the time, Brian Robson, had prescribed him to a clinic while he was on while Guy's game was unconscious. But he didn't follow through with um, the required staying time minimum of 28 days. He kind of um, got to sort of released, which was bad, terrible. Uh, one of his one of the chairmen of the club that he played for, Bill Kenwright, had um, contacted him. Gaz as a therapist to help him control his drinking. Eventually, he um, was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Man, he just couldn't get out of his own way. Eventually, he, um, he was sectioned into the Mental Health Act, taken into protective custody to stop him from stopping himself, harming himself. He was sectioned again soon afterwards and hospitalised for overdosing on alkaline drugs. I think he he said so many arrests for different things, sexual assaults, um, violence as a result of um, alcohol. <sighs> Man. He's had a lot of support from fe- from people. And, um, relapsed into um, his, his addiction to alcohol and honestly he certainly um, his legacy as a footballer has certainly been, been tainted due to the, the news of his addiction and issues that he's had over the years over the past two decades now and so it's unfortunate really unfortunate it's sad and this is this is just one of the many stories of downward spirals that that famous people have have gone through in any field in any any sector of, in, of entertainment and in this case, it certainly seems to um, keep affecting Gaza, Paul Gascoigne here. It's a shame. He was a star, but his issues has certainly um, tainted his legacy. So that's all I've got to say right now. And um, he had great moments for England and for his club. I went for the crabs that he paid, paid paid for, but now it's not worth anything anymore. Take care. Goodbye.